Breaking news in Wake County. Authorities provide an update on the in custody death of Daryl Williams. Our Elena Athens is live for us in Raleigh with those breaking details. Elena, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, Barbara. Yeah, I reached out to Daryl Williams' mother to see if she has any comment on this new announcement, and I'm hoping to hear back. Uh, Wake County District Attorney Lauren Freeman says her decision not to pursue charges against the officers involved is based solely on current criminal laws, and she found officers were not in violation. The North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation also reviewed their actions. Freeman says her new, in her newly released report, she has no jurisdiction over the Raleigh Police Department's policy or if any of those policies were violated. Six officers have been on administrative leave since Daryl Williams died in January. Officers used stun guns on him multiple times during his arrest. Police say there was a physical altercation. Officers were trying to arrest him, and police say officers suspected Williams was in possession of illegal drugs. He died in police custody. The medical examiner's report listed the cause of death as sudden cardiac arrest in the setting of cocaine intoxication, physical exertion, conducted energy weapon use and physical restraint, and that the manner of death is classified as homicide. Activists have been demanding that the Wake DA take action and file charges. I spoke with Williamson's mom right after her son died. She was certainly heartbroken and trying to come with grips with what had happened. Uh, she told me that then that there was a history of heart problems in her family. Again, we are trying to uh, talk with her to see what her comments are on this new announcement. That is the very latest live from Raleigh. Elena Athens, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.